guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a haul um, there's stuff from Ulta and there's stuff from Walmart um, actually everything in this box is currently on my face because my video going up Wednesday not Wednesday my video going up Tuesday is my full face of first impressions which sneak peek here's a look um, but if you want to know my opinions on these products, that'll be where to find them. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to reach into the box and start pulling stuff out and showing you what I got. So the first thing I got is this Magnetic Lash Applicator. Um, and it's by Ordell. When I ordered this, I was thinking... It has a magnet, so that way your lashes don't fall out as you go to put them on your eye. But actually, it's for those Ardell magnetic lashes that go, like a set goes on top and a set goes underneath. Literally, this thing it holds the top set, holds the bottom set, and then you just clamp it together. And then release. So it's actually for those. So if I ever get any magnetic lashes, I have this. Um, but you could use it as just a regular lash applicator the two magnets don't stick to each other but I had difficulty using it to put my lashes on just because I've never used something like this too so I think it'll be something that'll come with practice um and the next thing is oh, this wet and wild mega volume plus mascara um so yeah packaging's a little weird just like I talked about in the video it's like flat on this one edge which makes it kind of awkward to hold, but... Alright, and the next thing. So, Real Techniques came out with their face and body sponge. And the original Real Techniques sponge is orange. Like, they're known for their orange sponge. Well, they did a new look one, and so now I got the face and body sponge, but it's in pink. Which, I'm sorry, it's dirty. I literally just used it to film. But it's, yeah, it's the face and body sponge, and it's in pink. Very large. Um, it's like... Almost as, almost as big as my hand. Um, really good for foundation. Get it done quick. Alright, and the next thing is a cult favorite. And it is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I've used the Chocolate Bonbons Palette many times on my channel. It was featured in my favorites video that um, went up Tuesday. Which is actually, when I'm filming this, it was yesterday. So today is Wednesday. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't feel like it's as chocolate scented as my chocolate bonbons palette. I haven't even taken the little thing off the mirror. Um, but yeah, here is... Hold on, I'll hold the other way so you can actually read. So here is the palette with all of the shades. On my eyes currently, I have... Currently on my eyes, I have salted caramel, semi-sweet, milk chocolate, triple fudge, and candied violet. I never did do an inner corner highlight like I meant to. That's very nice. And I use champagne truffle to do that. It's very hard to do in the camera because, like, on here like this is my right but on my camera it's showing on the left side <laughs> so it was difficult to maneuver that backwards at least for me it is the next thing is the LA girl spice blush palette um, it has two blushes a deeper blush a lighter brush a bronzer a bronzer and a highlighter I'm currently wearing the deeper blush this bronzer and this highlight. The highlight is the like the glittery part. That's from this highlight. This bronzer pulled a little gray on me, which is weird because it looks like it'd be too deep for me. Didn't try this lighter blush. So the lighter blush, the darker blush, the bronzer, and the highlight. As you can see, it's really glittery. But on here the bronzer stays very warn, but on my when I put it on my face it pulled very cool. 
Uh, but yeah, I really like this blush. The lighter blush, it's okay. Not my top pick for blush. I'd much rather go with like one of the deeper, like the blush that's like the deeper one. And so this is the ColourPop Brow Boss. Um, it's what I have in my brow, obviously. Um, I got mine in the shade Blonde. I really like the precision tip on this. It's very precise and it helps. So my brow, like brow tails are naturally like kind of blunt. Not like I don't, not like it's like squared off. Um, but they're more blunt than I would like. And so I was actually able to draw a little tail on and it doesn't look unnatural just because this is so precise that it's almost hair like strokes and it's really good for getting the hair like strokes at the front of your brow. I also like that it comes with a spoolie. Uh, but yeah. And then I have the CoverGirl Brow Mascara in Soft Blonde. Um, I don't know how I feel about this just because I'm trying not to tell you my opinions because I do my first impressions video but I keep doing it. Covergirl Brow Mascara. Elf um, Liquid Eyeliner. Very precision tip. Very black. And it's image in the shade black. And going back to that ColourPop pencil. That's the color of the ColourPop pencil. Then I have the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter, which I also have on. I have on underneath that, and it pulled a little dark on me. But it has a nice glow to it. It has a little bit of shimmer, too, now that I'm looking at it. So I think between the two, that's why I got a lot of shimmer. So I'm not sure how I feel. I'm not really a fan of, like, shimmery highlights. But it's not too bad. I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about the glitteriness of the highlights. So in the video, I totally forgot that I had this. So I didn't use it. It's still sealed. So I guess I'll use it now. And it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Uh, matte finishing spray. <sighs> so it definitely is a, a strong alcohol scent. The spray is a little aggressive, um, but I mean, obviously, I don't know how it sets my makeup. But, but yeah, the spray is very aggressive <laughs> and has a very strong alcohol scent, but that happens a lot with. with those mattifying setting sprays just because that's a lot of times how they keep your face matte so yeah didn't try that in the video because I forgot it was in the box um, the next thing is this matte um, wet n wild photo focus face primer it's also a matte one it comes out and it's like very lotiony I'm not sure how I feel about it because it did kind of like make my nose look drier and that's why I'm not sure so the foundation I'm gonna get to that's why I'm not sure if it's the foundation that I'm not a big fan of or if it's the primer so that's why I'm gonna try it with another primer and I'm also gonna try this um, primer with other foundations and see which one of them it was I know I've heard mixed reviews on the foundation so let me see if I can find aha so the foundation I use is the Tarte Shape Tape foundation. I have mine in N22, which is light neutral. That was a lot of controversy, and I talked about that in the video, about how there's not a really good shade range. There's a lot of light shades. Not a lot of, like, middle ground, and there's, like, some deep shades, but plenty of companies have gone deeper. So I know there's controversy around this. Um, and I know it's supposed to be, like full coverage. I don't feel like I got full coverage out of it. I love Tarte Shape Tape. 
this one I don't know but um, so that's why I don't know if it was the primer or the foundation and I keep telling you my opinions and I don't need to because you're gonna find out in the next video Jeez. Oh. so the next thing is the NYX soft matte lip cream in Kyoto it's a lip I have on it's a very velvety like moussey formula I should have thought about the fact that I had this pink lip when I did the purple eyes but on camera it looks more nude but it's in person it's a lot more pink like you can tell here that's a lot more pink but like pulled back I you kind of it kind of looks more nude it doesn't look that weird but like in person this is like this pink like a corally pink and I have purple on my eyes but it's a dark purple so it's not really that bad And I have the Maybelline Age Rewind Matte um, Concealer, cult favorite. I have mine in the shade Fair. There's the shade. And I have a product that's technically not a first impression, just the shade is, because I really liked it. Um, but the shade I had wasn't right, so I got a new shade, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in 10. I did have it in 5, so this one will be a lot better. Alright, and then the lashes that I have on are the Kiss... They're some type of feathery lash, and they're in the shade Shy. The ones I have on, I just came in this package, and that's the pieces, these are the pieces I had to cut off. And these are the lashes I tried with that lash applicator. And then, the last thing is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Um, it is very tacky, and I haven't had this on very long, so I can't tell you how long wearing any of this is. Um... Because I don't know. But it's currently... So I probably got done with my makeup at around 11.20. Um, so I'm going to keep it on until about before o'clock. And I'll come back around that time to do a check-in, maybe? I will probably include that in the first impression video, but... I don't know, but I'm going to try and come back around four and do a check-in so that way we can kind of see how this is wearing on me. Um, but you'll see that probably in the next video. But yeah, that is everything for this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.